Emma, well, I guess it's a bit of a welcome home, isn't it? Um, tell us how all this came about, the discussions you had, and, and how you decided um, you know, to make the move back home. Yeah, um, I guess I was having chats with Fern's coach, Yitka, and talking about what my next steps were going to be and what I was going to do, and she actually put it to me to potentially join the Phoenix and get some game time, get on it, and uh, join the league. And so I sent Nat a message, and we got into discussions, and then, yeah, this just happened. And it's, it happened kind of out of the blue and unexpected, but I'm really, really excited to be home and, and be part of the team in history yeah tell us about some of the conversations you had with Natalie because obviously when the national coach says hey you should look at this it's obviously yeah. a you know that, that's a good sign but what mm. about the conversations with Natalie about the way this team's going to play in your place in it yeah I've spoken to Nat and we, we we go way back we've known each other for about 10 years or so or even longer um, but we just had discussions about how I can bring experience into the team how I can help guide the younger ones or potentially pri provide some experience um, some support to the younger girls as well and just be that positive energy within the team to c try and lift it and lift the standard and kind of I guess bring that professional standard to the team yeah and uh, I mentioned it to Nat but uh, I'll ask you as well with Betsy and Paige there a couple mm -hmm. of your football ferns teammates do you feel like there's uh, I guess a little bit of a responsibility on the three of you to you know to help what is a very young squad to you know mm -hmm. to gain an experience absolutely I think it's it's really cool having these players in the team as well and the more we have the more we're able to create that environment um, and the younger girls see that and they I mean they're pushing anyway they're pushing that quality that experience everything like that so the team is definitely lifting its quality from um, even coming in from last week last Tuesday session like it's just we're starting to build now and you can see that and the girls are starting to gel together we're making the passes we're scoring goals we're doing all of that and it's it's really cool to see and I think for this league this season it's going to just keep going up and I'm excited to see where we end up on the table because I think we can actually push yeah and it is a return home for you as well because I think you you know spent a lot of your childhood in Wellington mm -hmm. can you just give us a bit of a potted history of your of your football <laughs> journey yeah I actually I grew up in Whitby so I started at Western Suburbs and I played there pretty much all of my junior years only girl on the team and played with the boys um, and then I had maybe a year at Tower and a year at Lower Hutt and then into women's football with uh, Karori and played there with a number of players that were it, it was we were stacked it was amazing <laughs> but um, yeah, Karori, and I played there until I moved to uh, Auckland at 17. So, yeah, spent most of my life here and then just moved up to Auckland for under 20s and kind of went from there, yeah. That Western Suburbs team that you played in with the boys, I mean, we know how many of those Ollie boys yeah. have gone on and girls yeah. have gone on. Uh, did you, I, I'm not sure how old you are, I'm mm. sorry, but did you play with any of the likes of Callum and Eli and, and those guys? I, a little bit older, I, played, I actually used to play against um, Clayton Lewis, oh, like really? we grew up playing against each other, yeah, so um, yeah, a little bit older, I'm 25, so yeah, same as him and yeah, we, he, he was at Onslow, I was at Western Suburbs and we used to play against each other all the time, yeah. Amazing, and you've just been named the Fern Squad as mm -hmm. well for a couple of uh, internationals against Korea Republic, yeah. just on that with a World Cup now, just on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like the ability to put yourself in a shop window not only with these games but with the Phoenix season is a, mm -hmm. of benefit to you with such a big tournament next year? Absolutely I think with having a home World Cup it's huge and I think being able to have the Phoenix play at home is only going to bring more support to the women's game in New Zealand and I think that's what we need we need New Zealand to get behind us and kind of uh, support us as much as we can and this is huge this is one of the biggest sporting events in the world and we're having it here in New Zealand and Australia so I think yeah gathering that around and showcasing what we can do and that we are quality and women can play football then I think yeah that's only going to be benefit us yeah and just one more from me I know you've had issues with your back I mm -hmm. think um, with, with injuries and stuff is that something that you're just now having to deal with or is it better or what's the story there yeah I've dealt with um, really bad back pain and a severe nerve pain down my legs so like numbness pins and needles all that kind of stuff um, it's been chronic for like the last seven months so it's kind of hindered me in terms of like what I can do with the national team and everything but I think at the moment we're just having to manage it um, and that's just with like doctors and physio and stuff and just kind of putting myself in the best place to continue to play because I think it might be a problem until I stop playing and it's just about finding better ways to manage that and to reduce the pain so that I can continue. Yeah. Right. So you can but you can still play it's yeah. just it's just making sure that you manage yeah. the pain and recover well? Yeah absolutely it's just managing the pain yeah. Cool. A few on behalf of Phil as well, mm -hmm. uh, just asking about you think being a regular for the Phoenix will boost your chances of you know playing at the mm -hmm. World Cup next year? Yeah, absolutely. I think it will help me to kind of get regular game time again. Um, I've had been out a little bit with my back and nerve pain and stuff, so just getting those games and having the support around me and my friends and family here it, like helps boost me to kind of continue to play and 
get that starting spot back in the Ferns and I want to be starting at World Cup, I want to be starting at Olympics, I want to be a regular starter in the Ferns so I think having this season here will really help me do that. And how was your last season in Norway? Did you get a lot of game time? You're obviously talking about injury and mm-hmm. stuff like that, limiting you a bit. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, was at Avodsnes um, in Norway and Anna Bjorna before that. Um, and that was a really cool experience. I really enjoyed Anna Bjorna and being in Bergen, which was a bigger city. Um, and then last year I moved to a smaller city, which was a little bit um, boring, I'm going to say. But um, no, it was still really cool. Um, good experience. You're playing in a, against top Norwegian players um, week in, week out. So yeah, still challenging and unpredictable each game. And you touched on it a bit before, but were you actually looking to come back to this part of the world, to the Phoenix or even the A-League before Yitka recommended it? No, I actually wasn't. I was looking to come home for Christmas with my family and stuff and then was going to head back over to Europe in January. Um, We'll just, yeah, I guess see what happens now. Everything changes in football and it's always unpredictable. Um, I think you just have to adjust to what comes your way and this is a great opportunity to see what happens. Perfect.